KP State running here with Dennis Love of Lennox Memorial. The winner here in the Division 3C race. It looks like a time like 1640, maybe under 1640 unofficially, but, uh, but a good race on a cold day. So yeah. tell me about the effort today. How did this race go? Were you pretty much with the lead pack throughout this race? No. So I started out pretty much in 30th, and so I knew if I could just maintain my 5K pace, I would eventually just go one by one. So I actually fell. I slid at the first hill, and so that's where I started to press. I just moved little and little bit, and then I caught up with the lead on the first big downhill. Coming after the first two uphills, the first big downhill, I, I got the lead, and then I just stayed with Henry for as long as I could, and then for, for the start of his second lap, I just started to press, and I just knew it's just a mile and a half. I needed to get everything I got. So what point in the race was that when you took the lead? Like a mile or just before the mile? So I was with the lead pack uh, probably 1K in. 1K in. I broke off right here. Okay. So with a mile and a half to go, a mile and a half in, I broke off. So you said at the beginning you were in 30th place. Was it because you were getting 30th. boxed in and stuff, or were you I mean, actually trying to hold back? I was trying to hold back because going out fast for me never works out, especially in colder weather. In cold weather, I get cramps. So I made sure to just race smart with my teammate Max Adam. We both decided to take it easy in the start and then work your way up. So being back there, you felt comfortable enough that you could eventually whittle your way up? I and, did, yes. Today it was it was something special. I felt in my legs like nothing. I just felt great. Everything just seemed to click today for us and the team too. Yeah, and then you said you slipped at one point. Well, what point was that? I did. I slipped right before right before a first hill. So going down the hill and then that turn yeah. slid right right on my butt, like on my slide. I just slid across the the course that I just had to grab, get up, and just start going. Wow. Um, so it looks like you guys won, I guess, for, for I, the team title. I think we have, so, yes. so, so how does that feel to not only win individual title, but win as a team? I mean, it's great. We lost to them for the sectionals last year by two points. And we think we had it in the bag at all states, but we lost it. So but coming into this season, the team has been hungry for a state championship. Um, at Twilight, our sixth runner, he, got the he, broke, he broke the tie with the first five. So we got the win at we beat Parker Charter at Twilight, which was amazing. And so today, we came in with a mindset that we are good, we are a fast team, and we just want to make sure everyone's scared for us at states. We want to like set, like just make a t make a move, and just like show what we got. Yeah, that was gonna be my next question. So we got the All State meets next week. You guys think you can be in that run for that for that title? Most definitely. I mean, Mount Greylock's right there too, Parker Charter. I feel like our, our team is peaking at the right time, which is what we need. Everything has been going great right now. We just need to keep the momentum. We're going to have a taper, maybe a few 150 workouts. So as long as we just keep it controlled this next week, everything should be good for the states. And then it's whoever has the best five runners that can just run the fastest. Just, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, congratulations on a great victory and a great team victory. And Thank good luck you. next week. Thank you. Thanks.